Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and today I'm gonna be showing you how to make these beautiful fine romantic bracelets. They're easy to make, they're beginners friendly and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure you're gonna be able to make them by yourself. By the way, for this bracelet I used the center of those earrings that I showed you in my previous tutorial this center so you could combine definitely combine them uh, a finer bracelet with bigger earrings i think it will look fine if you want to support me it's a good idea to subscribe with the bell and to like share and comment and you help me so much in this way okay so without further ado let's get started with the list of the materials okay guys so what i'm using here are really simple stuff two colors of 11 o seed beads you could use 10 o seed beads if you want and these are pink and silver here i'm using lobster's claw clasp and a jump ring you could use other type of clasp you like and by the way down there in description you will find a full list of materials facebook page to share pictures of your creations that you did following me link for paypal donations link to my second channel and you will see what you get if you decide to become a member of this channel okay let's continue this is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches 0 0.15 millimeters you could use other beading thread of your choice this is size 10 beading needle you could also use size 11 or 12 for this project and these are scissors if you want to make this bracelet with one piece of thread you should take eight feet of thread which is 2.4 meters the other way is to take half let's say four feet 1.2 meters and then add more thread i'm showing in a lot of my tutorials how to add more thread but it's up to you how to do this now i'm going to start and i'm going to make this bracelet by making 14 elements you could do less or more depending on your wrist my wrist is small that is why i'm making 14 but if you make 14 you could always put an extension chain and continue okay so let's start first i'm going to pick up six of these beautiful pink beads okay oops i took seven you always double check when you pick up beads okay here i have six and i'm going to slide those down i will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot by making a loop and going twice with my tail thread through that loop I've made and then just to be sure it's all tight and secure I make one more knot and in this way your work is secured. Okay then I go through the next two beads and you see what I have this beautiful circle of six and now i'm going to take two of these beautiful silver beads and i'm going backwards through this bead okay this is what i have i have a loop between this silver bead and these two newly added uh, silver beads so between the pink and the silver sorry and now i'm going in the next pink and I'm going to add two more silver beads okay like this and in this time I will go through this pink and through the following just to save time and just to save one movement okay now I do this then in my next step I'm going to take two silvers again I'm going backwards through the, the pink that I'm exiting out of like I did before and I'm going through the next pink bead. Okay, guys. And this is what I do until the end. So I'm going to repeat this three more times. Okay, now I did this beautiful circle here and what I'm going to do is go in the next silver in this direction and I pull. Okay, 
then I'm going to take one seed bead of pink color and I go through the next two silvers just like this then again I'm going to take one pink bead and as I'm exiting from this silver I'm going and connecting the next two silvers okay then again one go through the following and continue this until the end of this row okay guys so this is the first element of my bracelet and by the way this element is the same like the center of these earrings so you could make a set with them of course if you do the same colors like i did here in this bracelet okay now i will show you how to attach the clasp to this first element and then i will continue with the next element okay this is my clasp and i'm going to take two silver beads then i'm going to take my clasp and then i will take two silvers okay this is what i have and as i'm exiting through one of my silvers i go through the other one now what i want to do here is to make a reinforcement of this work and how I do this, I should go backwards through all of my beads and reinforce it. Okay, this is what I have. Now, what I want to do is go here at the end of this element and I want to make the next element which will be exactly like this but I will start it from one side okay and go to the center okay now I take two silver beads and I go backwards through this silver then I go through one of the silvers and what i want to take is one pink and go back through these silvers then again through the pink here and i also went through the next silver and again through the pink okay after that i'm going to take five pink beads okay i have here my five and as i'm exiting from this pink bead here i'm going backwards through this one in this way when i close my circle i have six beads in it in total one already there and five newly added and now I would like to reinforce. Okay, guys. Now, imagine that I just did this circle here. And I will continue the element from here. Okay. Now I'm going to take two silvers. And as I'm exiting from this pink, I'm going back through it and through the following pink it is absolutely the same thing that i did here when i was making this element from the center then again i will take two go back like this and through the following okay and i'm going to repeat this until the end of this row
Okay. Now I have this element and what I want to do next is go here in this silver, the next silver, then go again through the pink here and through the next two silvers like this. And now like I showed you in my first element I'm going to add seed beads here okay I take one and I go through two then again take one go through two and again take one and go through two Okay, one more time. And here, guys, you see what I do differently. Instead of adding another bead here, I will use this one from my first element. And uh, these two beads coincide in my two elements. They share those two beads. Okay, those two be pink beads where they are connected. Okay. Now I go through this pink. And then what I do is that I go through the silver after that. Okay. Exiting through one of the silvers, going through the pink, and then through the next silver. Okay. I incorporated this pink here for this hole. Okay. Then I will show you one more time how I'm making an element. And after that, everything is the same until the end of the bracelet. So feel free to rewind and repeat the steps. Okay. Now, what I want to do is take two silvers like I did here. I'm going back through this pink, then backwards through this silver, and take another pink. Then again through this pink here. Okay, and after that through the second pink, okay. And from here on I will make this central circle. How I do this, it consists of six beads and here I already have one. So I'm going to add five more beads to make it with six beads in the center. And of course here, after I add them, I need reinforcement of those beads. Then I go in the next pink and I'm going to repeat the silver parts where at each pink I add silvers. Because I showed you this twice. I think the third time doesn't need explanation. I will just show you how I'm doing it a little bit faster. Okay, this is the these are the familiar steps. Then I will continue here with the pink beads around the edge. Okay, take one pink and go through the following two. Then again
and two more times. And here at the last one, stop. Here I'm not adding a new pink bead because I'm going to be using this one from the previous element. So instead of adding another pink bead, I'm going through this one here. Okay. Then I'm going through this silver. And if you can go through the silver after that. Okay. In one movement and when I pull and fix a little bit I have this now I will go through all of the beads in this direction and after that I'm going here at this element and I will do absolutely the same thing rewind the video and repeat 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 until the desired length okay guys and as i continued beading this fine romantic bracelet is almost ready i just connected here this last element i just made this last element and connected it to the previous one what i want to do is go in this direction through all of my beads and finish my work okay i exit here at this pink bead and what i want to do is take my jump ring and i'm also going to take five silver beads okay i have five silver I'm going through my jump ring and through the next silver. Okay, this is what I have. Then I want to go through these two silver beads. Then again through these beads here. and i'm reinforcing by the way here if you want to make an angle you could skip this central silver bead and when you pull you form here an angle then what i want to do is go here at this place and i want to make a knot and by the way, before I make the knot and cut my thread, I could give you another idea. If you want, you could make an edge of beads here. Let's say you want to make it silver or let's say three silvers, one pink and three silvers. Okay. And you add it like this. This is just an idea if you want a larger bracelet. Okay, and you continue, continue until the end, then go back from the other side. And this is another way to finish your bracelet. And here uh, you could go back and make little angles here at this pink bead if you want it to stay nice. Okay, but now I'm going to finish this bracelet just like this. Okay, I remove this bits from here and now uh, what I want to do is make a knot and cut my thread and how I make it I make here a loop and I go once and I go second time through this loop I've made and I pull then I go through the following seed bead and I'm cutting this thread I have it here in another color if you want to see how it would look in different color okay so this is all for me 
If you like what I'm showing you here, it's a good idea to subscribe with the bell. Down there in description, you will find the full list of materials, a link for PayPal donations to develop this channel, link to my second channel with the fast clips. You will also find links to my social networks, Facebook, Instagram, to share pictures of your creations that you did following me. And if you want to become a member, you will get perks and support me. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye from me.